Let's move on to the next question. The equation of the curve C is given to you by this. And the equation of the line L is given to you by this. Equation number one, equation number two. Right, now part one, find the x value of the points of intersection of L and G. Now intersection, obviously, we have to solve a simultaneous equation. So here we can make y become subject, that will be three minus x. Replace y in this equation, you will have three minus x is equal to two x squared minus eight x plus nine. Send everything to one side, you will have two x squared minus eight x plus x plus nine minus three is zero. So two x squared minus seven x plus six will be zero. Simplify. That will be 2x, x, and 6 can be 2 times 3, so 2 times 3. 6 can be 2 times 3, right? So we choose 2 here, we need minus 4, minus 3 to get minus 7. x will be 3 over 2, x will be the value of, of 2. Or you can write x will be 1.5, or can be 1 point, so 2, uh, for the part one of the question, just the x value of the point of intersection. Now, part two, we have to show that one of these points is also a stationary point of C. So pretty easy. Uh, let's find the stationary point of C. So how can we find this? We know that at the stationary point of C, the value of dy by dx have to be zero. Let's first find dy by dx. So y of the curve is 2x squared minus 8x plus 9. So dy by dx will be what? Will be 4x minus 8. Now we have to check. For the point where the value of x is 1.5, let's see what happens. So dy by dx at 1.5 is 4 times 1.5 minus 8, that will be what? minus two. So it is not good. Now the point where the value of x is two, let's check what happens. dy by dx, add the value of x times two, that will be this, that will be eight minus eight, and that will be zero, here you go. So we prove that at the point where x equal to two, dy by dx is equal to zero, which proves it is a stationary point. And that will be part two of the question.